Prolonged fasting is becoming a more popular way to stay healthy, but there are hidden dangers you should know about. In this video, I will share what these risks are and why prolonged fasting may be more risky than good. I'm here with an important message about the health risks associated with long periods of fasting as well as while fasting. You may have heard about how prolonged fasting can have major health benefits, but I'm here to explain the danger that comes with it and why some experts believe prolonged fasting can be bad for your overall health. While I break down the facts and provide top tips on how to stay safe while still enjoying the health benefits of intermittent fasting, I'll tell you all about intermittent fasting. Of the health benefits and how should the nutrition be correct for the fasting person, and the temporary and long-term side effects on the fasting person and how to avoid them. Follow us until the end and you will not regret it because you will benefit by all means. Fasting has become increasingly popular in recent years, with many people adopting the practice to improve their physical and mental health. But how exactly does fasting affect the body and mind? This video explores the various physical and mental effects of fasting on the body and mind. The most obvious physical effect that comes from fasting is weight loss. When a person fasts, they are depriving themselves of food or calories for a period, which causes their metabolism to slow down as their body works to conserve energy. As a result, it can lead to significant fat loss and total calorie expenditure. Additionally, some research has suggested that periods of fasting may reduce insulin resistance among overweight individuals, leading to improved metabolic health over time. Fasting can also have a positive effect on mental health. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting increases levels of certain hormones, such as endorphins and serotonin, which are responsible for feelings of well-being. It has also been found to reduce stress levels in the body while boosting focus and alertness. Furthermore, it may even lead to increased self-discipline and control over one's food cravings. Finally, some research suggests that fasting can help to improve cognitive performance. In addition, some studies suggest that fasting may improve overall brain health by reducing inflammation and stress, leading to better concentration and mental clarity. But what exactly happens to your metabolism when you fast? This video will explore the science behind this phenomenon and explain how fasting affects your metabolism. When a person fasts, their body enters a state known as metabolic adaptation, in which it shifts from using food for energy to using stored fat instead. As a result, their metabolism slows down as their body works to conserve energy. This process is known as thermogenesis and leads to significant fat loss and total calorie expenditure over time. The effects of fasting on metabolism are not limited to fat loss and calorie expenditure. Fasting has also been found to increase levels of certain hormones, such as human growth hormone, HGH, which aids in the body's ability to burn fat and build muscle. It can also help improve cardiovascular health by reducing cholesterol levels and triglycerides in the blood. Finally, fasting is thought to activate a process known as autophagy, which helps clean up damaged cells and promote cell repair. This process works by breaking down damaged or dysfunctional proteins so they can be recycled into new, healthy ones. In addition, this process is thought to encourage overall metabolic health by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. One of the most common risks associated with extreme fasting is nutritional deficiencies. When you are not consuming enough calories and nutrients, your body is unable to function properly. This can lead to fatigue, weakness, poor concentration, and other health issues. It is important to be aware of side effects on the same day of the fast as well as the potential long-term effects of extreme fasting. Excessive fasting can have a range of adverse side effects on the body, and it is important to recognize the warning signs to avoid serious health problems. Headaches. A headache is one of the most common symptoms of excessive fasting. This can be caused by dehydration or low blood sugar levels due to not eating enough food. It's also possible that the lack of nutrients from not eating could be causing your head to ache. Fatigue fatigue is another symptom often associated with long bouts of fasting. As you don't consume any energy-rich foods during a fast, you may feel weak and lethargic. Lightheadedness Lightheadedness is a common symptom of fasting, and it can be caused by dehydration and low blood sugar. It's important to ensure that you are drinking plenty of water during a fast, to avoid any risks associated with dehydration. 
Heart palpitations. Heart palpitations are another common symptom of excessive fasting. It is important to ensure that you are consuming a balanced diet during your fasts, to reduce the risk of any heart palpitations. Nausea nausea is also a common symptom associated with fasting, and it can be caused by low blood sugar and dehydration. Again, it is important to stay hydrated during a fast to avoid any risks associated with nausea or vomiting. These are some of the most common symptoms associated with excessive fasting. If you experience any of these symptoms while fasting, you should stop immediately and drink plenty of fluids, drink and eat something small but nutritious. Additionally, it is always advisable to fast under the guidance of a health professional if you have any existing medical conditions or are taking medication. By doing so, you can ensure that your fasting is done safely and effectively. In addition, some studies have suggested that extended periods without food may also lead to weight gain in the long run as your metabolism slows down and your body stores fat more efficiently for future use. Fasting can also increase your risk of developing gallstones. Gallstones are hard deposits that form in the gallbladder when there's an imbalance between cholesterol and bile salts or when the body doesn't produce enough bile. As fasting can lead to changes in your hormone levels, this can make you more susceptible to gallstones. Finally, extreme fasting may also increase your risk of developing an eating disorder. As fasting often leads to feelings of guilt and shame if you cheat or eat too much, it can become a form of disordered eating. Fasting can provide many health benefits, but it's important to be aware of the signs that you need to eat and limit the time of fasting. It is important to determine the time of your fast and listen to your body's signals. Before beginning any type of fast, make sure that you are well hydrated and have consumed enough nutrients before fasting. It is also important to pay attention to your energy levels throughout the day and if you start feeling weak or lightheaded then break your fast immediately. In addition, it is important to also remember that everyone is different and the amount of time each person can fast safely will vary. The type of fast you are doing will also play a role in determining how long you should be fasting. Overall, the key to having a safe and successful fasting experience is being aware of your body's signals and responding accordingly. Proper nutrition is essential for maintaining health during a fasting period. Fasting can be an effective way to cleanse the body, reduce inflammation, and promote weight loss, but it must be done safely and correctly to achieve these results without risking your health. Nutrition plays a key role in making sure that you stay healthy while fasting because it helps to replenish lost nutrients and energy, as well as providing nourishment when regular meals are not being consumed. Eating nutrient-dense foods before and after a fast supports overall health. Eating wholesome foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats can help ensure that your body has all of the essential vitamins and minerals required for optimal health. Before fasting, it is important to ensure that the body is well-nourished and hydrated to reduce any potential risks associated with long-term fasting. During your fast, it is essential to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day. Water, herbal teas, and other non-caloric beverages are all great options for keeping yourself hydrated while fasting. Additionally, you can also consume small amounts of electrolytes such as salt or potassium. This will help keep your sodium levels balanced and prevent dehydration. After a fasting period, it is important to slowly reintroduce solid food back into your diet to avoid any digestive issues due to an abrupt change in food intake. Eating small and frequent meals can help to gradually reintroduce nutrients back into the body in a safe manner while avoiding any potential digestive problems. We thank you for the kind follow-up, and we wish you fasting that will benefit you for good health and ideal weight.